March 1935, outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. There, I got my water. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Already? Already hey there, fish? Guys? You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Why are you talking to fish? How dare you talk to fish in this town? Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are the one with the gun. We're with the Bruletown Watch. I'm Alicia, Alicia Melkiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <sighs> This book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Uh, uh, thanks, fish. Awesome! I've managed to make it into one cutscene before I've been thrown in jail! Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or, this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes. I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Over there! <laughs> Come on! Are they just throwing grenades at random people? Damn it! Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you.
saving is very anti-stream. Okay, here's the plan. Just stay calm and get it done. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. See this back to me? Which button to shoot?
Oh, I can't hide behind the rock? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Don't worry, I'm coming. Headshot. Alicia, stop getting shot. A B rank? Wow, this game is really strict. sign of the enemy good now go keep watch and stay alert yes ma'am uh, what should we do with the bodies ma'am we'll bury them so it's begun I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town I'll do it even going to war I'll do it Fuck. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life so you planted a flower on the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935 to say march 15th the Empire began its assault in earnest a formal declaration of war was made upon gallia though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. Well, thanks for spoiling the ending. This would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming even through the flames of war. 
What follows is a record of this conflict, and of those who fought, lived, and died. Chapter 1 in defense of Brule. Of Brule! Come on, y'all. Let's say Brule. One of our high school team shout from every football game Brule rules. about this town. Boom. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> the packing coming along, Yis? Yis? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. I should know. I've already had four of them. Hello there. Um, it, is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. Wait, really, what? What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well, I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him up there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, 
I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. Huh. It's weird to select like cutscenes as they happen. Wow, look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. You can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm -hmm. So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you going to join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way. My own way, you know what I mean? I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Ah! <sighs> what was that? That would be an explosion. That sound. Called it. It's the Nazis. I don't believe it. The mill. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Wilkin. Now move out. Stay low. Sundarius are well known for their twin tails. I'll explain the mission. to us to defend Brule. Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. <laughs> Vulcan doesn't have a level?
Why should I bother using Welkin? I'm assuming the Town Watchman isn't going to stick around for very long. I should be using Alicia to get random levels then. Ah, oh, whatever. Really? Now? You got him, Dan. Take him out. Dan, you suck. How can you see me if your back's turned to me? You're not in cover. That's a very bad place to be, mister. Because no! Alicia's gonna fuck you up.
Damn it, Dan. That was a really bad idea. Oh. What's that? Sounds like a tank. Uh, what are we supposed to do about a tank, though? Oh, I see a weak point. I see a weak point. That's a lot of dudes. Oh, look at all of them. Oh, he's right there. Oh. Uh... Duck? Oh, cool. He just hits him off then, I guess. Welcome, tank. Yeah, no shit. That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret, and it's over. What? <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna have to go down through here. Okay. Uh, huh. Now, usually, Alicia, I'm not. I'm not trying to like downplay your tactical awareness or anything, but typically, when someone is pulling out of a battle, they run away from it. Your plan is to run through it. That man is bleeding out right now because he got shot in the chest by the cannon. <laughs> uh, okay. Your plan, Alicia, you go Look first. Out. Okay, one less gun. Here we go. Running, 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 running. Okay. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, God. Alicia, I know you've taken some lumps. Turn, okay? You can do this. Where are all those gunfire sounds coming from? Now. Oh, come on, Alicia.
What about the town watchman? What about the town watchman? Oh, look at him try. Oh god, is that tank gonna run me over? Uh... Mercy! That ragdolling was weird. Okay... Then what do you want me to do, game? Oh, do I have to start the entire thing over? That ragdolling was weird, by the way. That was... That was weird. Okay, can I skip this? Alright, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. Yeah, there's no way to skip it. Awesome. Okay. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Hi. I'm gonna shoot you right in the face. Yes. Yes, indeed. My turn, okay? These are tactics. These are tactical TikToks. Stop! Yeah. Right in your stupid face. <laughs> How much you can do about it, bitch? Come on, Dan. We believe in you. Oh, hey, there's another person right there. You got him, Dan. Mil Dan, the military man. Now, if that guy gets up to move or do anything, he's gonna have three guns right in his, two of them right in his face, and the other, the other one's gonna be falling behind. Oh, hey, how you doing? Nah, not Dan. Get him, Dan. Oh, damn it, Dan. See, look, look at Alicia picking up your mess. Ah, <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, good times. Ready to go. No, don't stand. Welcome, damn it. Good job, what? Good job, yes. Welkie. Oh, end the turn. My turn, okay? Alright, Dan, the soldier man. Where's that guy shooting at him? How can he shoot at me, but I can't shoot at him? Is he shooting through the truck? Damn it, Dan. Dan, duck. Dan, duck. Why does he keep doing that? It just seems very ill-advised.
What do you even want me to do, game? I have an idea. The goal is to get Welkin there. So... Screw it, let's get Welkin there. Are you serious? Go over! Fine, screw it, just run. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Why would he just go over the sandbag? Pull through. Uh, <laughs> okay, but I saved. So does this mean I have to start the entire thing over? Can I just load? Load. I think I think I can work. I can do that if I don't get hung up on the uh, sandbag. I think it can work. Cause if I just have him bolt for it, I think he can make it. Alright, here we go. Bob and weave! Bob and weave! <laughs> Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? If they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the Town Watch can do. Yeah, I have a follow-up question, Alicia. How was you were planning on protecting this town from the Nazi army? Uh, with just a couple of pea-shooters? We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll dig in my heels at the main gate and do what I can to stall them. Okay, I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martin, then come back. Be careful out there, Welkin. A B rank? Man, this game really is strict. Chapter two. Escape from Brule. What? You mean you couldn't get that all done in one turn? You know, for a game that is supposed to be about military tactics, it seems like the strategy is just grab one soldier and just rush. Just run through all the bullets, take, find the main target you're supposed to either get to or kill, and do it. You know, just, just do it. Just, just, just do it. Just fireball. Just fireball. Wait, that's Deep Blum. Stop this now. See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. We are the bad guys. It's a regular pig farm in here. Thank you to watch your tongue in this house. No one pull the trigger? Now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. No one got the shooter while you doing an action roll? Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! <laughs> Die! Dark son. 
Isara, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. <clears throat> Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Ys. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. They haven't already? Well, Did you forget the tank? The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. <laughs> A tank. <laughs> Dad's tank. Whoa. I can't believe it's still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great, too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power to weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work, what's next? All right, Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah, back in high school, once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Isara, we ready to roll? Engaging engine. The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out! for this operation. What the fuck? There's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second?
Oh, we got a tower. This looks like a terrible idea. Yeah, no, that's a terrible place to be. <laughs> that's a just an awful idea. Let's see here. Oh, don't go over. Everyone all spread out, so when that tank fires, it won't just kill everybody in one shot. That's all your throwing at ranges? That's it? Five hundred damage. Okay. Not the wisest move. Holy shit! Oh, that was a stupid move. Why the fuck would you run down three guns, dude? Two shots to kill. He's not behind sandbags. He's just chilling there. He's he's in wide open. Dude. 
He's all the way out there. Not very many of these shots are going to even reach him. Shots to kill, question marks. Yeah, that'd be because, judging by the previous battle, it would take, at minimum, 700 shots. <laughs> okay. I gotta do something about this throw range, man. That ain't nothing. I don't think it's a reach. And if I try to move her in closer, that shock trooper's just gonna tear her up. Uh, maybe the explosion will reach. Let's try it. Yeah. Well, that's freaking worthless. Worthless freaking grenade. Twenty seven shots. Don't stand up. Thank you, Alicia. I know, I know, there's not really much I can do about that tank now, is there? A grenade! <laughs> uh. Jesus. Pew, 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 pew. Take that. Yeah, got him. Why didn't you shoot? Why didn't you shoot? Is the game over? Town Watchman has retreated. Oh my god, Vulcan has arrived all the way the fuck over there! Give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia.
All right, asshole. Hang on, I'm gonna kill your buddies. Boom. Boom. Which? Bench is gonna suck up all my AP. Can't see shit. There's a tank. Jesus! Duck! Duck! Alicia! Duck! What do you have to do to make a character duck? They seem to do it sometimes, and other times they don't bother. I don't even shouldn't even be bothering using the watchman at this point. I can't do any of the kind of real damage to shock troopers, and I and they got machine guns. Shoot! Shoot! Oh my god, are you serious? They seriously cannot do anything if the enemy has, even if they know they're there. Okay. Here we go. Shots to kill too. Bullshit. My turn, okay? Worthless fucking grenade. Genuinely worthless. <laughs> Duck.
Well, then do something about Alicia. I'm trying here. Maybe if you actually had some fucking throw range, we could actually do something about this. Because I can't move you any closer. If I do, they will shred you. Okay. Entering combat. Fire! You only get one mortar and already spent it. Nice work, East. Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time, at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! What the fuck? Martha had a boy! She, she gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. What the fuck? Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. That had to have been like the easiest birth ever. C rank. I don't even care anymore. Not the wind, Bill. Two hours after the first shots were fired. Brule was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Brule would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, that is a creepy oh, looking baby. He's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Look at that smoldering crater. Someday. We'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Chapter 3. Vassal Urban Warfare. In March of 1935, 
The Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welcome. Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, are you still allowed to just run around with the ribbon to show that you're a main character in the military? So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh, huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very welcome sort of compliment. Well done. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get in the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon Militia Enlistee Alicia Melkiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Did you bring a map on his chest? What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? 
Baldio? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science, and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randbreeze. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. Okay. Welcome to your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learned. I will train that experience into something you can actually use. Level you bums up. But, don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team, and we got no need for stars. You will train as a class, and level up by class. Scout level two, scout level three, you get it? When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. You hear me, maggots? Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team, go home now! This is not Fire Emblem. It does sound very stilted, yes it does. It's it's very, very anime. Alright. Now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. <laughs> Wait, so the rest of that was bullshit? It ain't complicated. First you go out there and fight. Then divvy up that experience here. Once the experience you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. Trade all you want. I've got all day. I got no use for tears. Sweat, sweat, sweat. <laughs> You're one level closer to human. Standing on bare dirt leads to a boost in concentration, raising accuracy. When any of her close friends are nearby, the desire to protect them drives all of her abilities up. An allergy to dust and sand leads to a steady drain of HP while in a sandy area. What the fuck? Plowing through oncoming fire by sheer force of will, she takes less than damage from interception fire. She can't just abandon her fellow shock troopers. If any are nearby, her abilities are enhanced. Paved roads feel strange and cold, leaving discomfort and lower defense. When surrounded by allies, feels drive and energy to work that much harder, enjoying a boost in abilities. His insurmountable spirit is enough to call him back from death, providing him after his HP reaches zero. Okay, so he can't do roads. He, he has a second chance mechanic. And he gets a boost from being around allies. She gets a boost on, when being on bare dirt. She gets a boost around allies. She actually starts to die in sand and dust. She, her boost is situational, only coming from other shock, shock troopers. And she takes less damage when running around. So far, Brigitte, you are terrible. Let's see if we can make you just somewhat manageable. I got no Good work, maggot! 
Shock troopers are expensive. Healing power of Ragnade are, are, are occasionally increased, so he can crit with healing items now, I guess? I don't have any engineers or snipers, so... Here. I got no use for tick. AP 800. And then I guess engineers, in case we ever get engineers. Good work. Got it. Oh, and there's one more thing to add. Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field, so keep them in mind. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic. A real golden oldie. Orders are special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. Okay. All that just from me working you sorry bums into the dirt. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. R&D facility. Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? What's up, man? How's it going, bruh? Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? I knew it! Oh, you're and one of those characters who always has their eyes closed and they can see everything around them. Just... Wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man, man! Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. Alright, cool, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out. It's Lieutenant Gunther. He's the man, man. Man, 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 <laughs> man, man. Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Priest Cherney. I'm training here as a mechanic. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. Are you? So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself, or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. First things first, let's get these freaking guns taken care of. What the hell? Your 
you go, bro. All done. Sorry, bro. We're just not there yet. What? Really? Land car? Is that what that is? Land sar? I feel like the Terminator showing up every time I upgrade a weapon. Dun 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 Oh, it's not a part, it's just a passive upgrade, okay. Well, sir, was that helpful? We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. Okay, so now all my soldiers should, should suck a little less. All right. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. First off, you have the Scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. Also, their icon is a butt. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good Scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the Shock Trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. 
Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Well, yes, not having very many bullets, it would also be considered a bit of a drawback in the middle of a live fire scenario. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable distance. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Well, you wear glasses, so you can't see anyway. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. Hermes Kissinger, Melville Young, Motley Lenord, Nancy Dufour, Ramona Linton. Oh, these are these are all scouts. Wait. What do I need? Okay, potential info. <laughs> Chatty Cat. You know what? No, Melville, you don't make the cut. Get the bonus in grass. <laughs> oh my god, it's so erect, I can't stay alive. Motley, you don't make the cut, that's terrible. <laughs> Nancy, you're pretty much better in all ways, so... Likes Ted Motley and Emil. Okay, so... The good buddy trait only works with Ted Motley and Emil. Who's Emil? Wait, did I pass Emil? There is no Emil! But you only have positive traits. The problem is you have almost no HP. Worries about dirt stains lead to distraction and decrease in accuracy. And if she's around allies, she lowers her accuracy. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's so good to meet you. Ramona... <laughs> no. Boost in concentration. Bonuses around at least newt. Attack power is lowered against shock troopers. That's a terrible... Having men nearby makes them happy, leading to enhanced accuracy when firing. Bad back. 
Crouching reduces his defense? I think the close friend thing might, again, relate to the likes thing. Yeah, that's, that's what that is. That's exactly what that is. <sighs> Bad back. Your hatred over the Empire yields a boost in accuracy. Paved roads feel strange and cold in discomfort in order defense. Pessimist? Ah, <laughs> oh, Mika. Okay, I want to have... If I can have this many open slots, I want to have... See, there's five classes. I want to have four of each. So... Probably being Freesia out of the scouts. Because she only gains bonuses, so... I'm Freesia York, handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. Don't make it weird. She gets a bonus around men, but... He gets a bonus around women. But he can't handle trenches. You know what, that's fine. I'm Hermes Kissinger. With me here, your squad will get twice the girls. I hate you. Okay. So now we need three shock troopers. Holy God! You look intense, bro. When holed up in camp, they cease to pay attention to the world outside, causing a drop in defense. What does that mean, holed up in camp? Oh, you are fabulous! Negative trait isn't really that bad, but then again, you're a shock trooper, so... I'm gonna keep an eye on you because you are fabulous, I'm gonna keep an eye on you because you're intense. Dorothy, Nina... Jan, look at those lips. Oh, those are Lancers. Protecting the camp by sheer force of will, they naturally become better at evading attacks. Frail body. You're a shock trooper! Okay, first of all, I gotta bring you. You're too intense. By single bard. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. And you are just fabulous, so I gotta bring you. I'm Edie Nelson. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm sure we'll get along swimmingly. Fabulous. Let's see, one, two, three. So yeah, we need one more. Probably Haynes. Hannes? Boost and accuracy, lower defense on the roads. We've got a lot of children of nature. We can't keep getting children of nature here.
What would attack against Lancers? Does anyone have like bonuses with people I've already picked? Your bonus with Largo. He's a Lancer. I want to go with Wendy, because if I just keep throwing her out in battle, then Shodan won't have any disadvantages, and she'll just gain a bonus for being around Iron. I have so many people with Child of Nature, let's see. One, two, well, only two people with Child of Nature, I guess. But I can't get a bunch of Shock Troopers that hate the road. That's... Ah, oh, whatever. Page Salinger, reporting for duty, sir. Hey. Let's see, we got four scouts, we got four shock troopers. Let's get some lancers. What are our options? Hang on. Only two snipers? Well, if there are only two snipers, then take them both. Wolfstan, at your command. Hello, I'm Catherine O'Hara. I look forward to joining you all. Look at that face! Night vision. Oh, I'm gonna have some extra space anyway, because I only got two, uh, I only got two snipers, so I'll probably toss an extra scout and an extra, uh, shock trooper. Darkson hater. Wow! Racism is an actual character trait. Racism is a straight up character trait. So in other words, don't use Rosina because she only has negative status, uh, uh, negative personality traits. My name's Hector Calvi, sir. I'm at your service from today on. Reno, was that you?
Hi there. I'm Yoko Martins. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Fatalist. Definitely want engineers with metal head. Well, that's attack power. It's not really that important. Yeah, I don't see single digit HP happening very often. In a game like this, if you hit single digit HP, that's probably because the enemy hasn't fired the last shot yet and you're gonna die here in a few seconds anyway. Um, Herbert Nielsen is me, I mean. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> I'm Ramsey Clement. Uh, hey. These engineers are so motivated. Let's keep getting more motivated engineers. Hello, sir. My name is Nadine. I'm sure I'll be coming to you for help. Uh oh, we got a Darkson in our unit. We better not bring the racists. Expectations. Three open slots. Cause yeah, I got four. All right, with three open slots, I'm probably gonna go ahead. Oh wait, I'm missing one lancer. Nah, we're not gonna get Jan. We're not gonna get Walter. Not gonna get Rosina. All right, I guess we're getting you. And lastly, let's get one more. Um, I have Yoko, so I can get the good buddy thing. Alright, I guess I'm bringing Aika because I have Yoko, so there's a good buddy bonus. Hey there, I'm Aika Thompson. I'll try my best. Sound good, Wilkin? Do I know you? And... Did I hire your brother? Reduce damage to Lancers, but can't have Defender and Country Bread. Fucking bad back. <laughs> uh, fine, we'll bring Nina. The name's Nina Strice, and I look forward to a good workout out there. Cool. Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment, and pick a team you know you can work well with. 
That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Come to think of it, Valdio's heading up Squad 1, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I'd better get a move on. Ah, choking them. <coughs> ah, water. <coughs> ah. Return to book mode. your enlistment go no problems I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together I think so too so what are you up to now the tanks hangar space is just through here I was just carrying some ragnite fuel back it's used to power the tank and also for the turret mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Gallian soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ys. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. All right. We'll get going for now, then. See you later. I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgris. Our mission is to take it back.
The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint. The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own. I recognize that voice. How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verrat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like there'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. Who was that? General Damon. Commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Gallia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Gentlemen. Let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the Western Bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther, I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. Here is a brief on the task at hand. Begin the operation. Okay. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia. Squad Seven, move out. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, at least we got a number of them. Leave it all to me. 
You're one of them tactical dudes. Daka 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 daka. I can dig the snipers. Who's got the balls? Oh, it's you. Well, you're not really in good position, so I'm gonna go after this guy. This is a terrible shot, but here we go. Jump on that guy. Roger. Seventy seven shots to kill. What? Oh, the gun is so tiny on him. I'm ready to go. Ah, headshot. Next partner. Just keep up. Well done. That tree ain't gonna talk shit to you ever again. Ains ain't no one to fuck with. There's Haynes, right? Yeah, Haynes ain't no one to fuck with. Scouts, move up. Hi, right, buddy. How you doing? Hmm. 
I'll take care of it. Stay calm and get it done. Uh, this is not good. Don't allow them time to think. Ah! I I'm so close. Ah! The hunt begins. In there and fuck them up. Let there be no survivors. Really? No, Haynes. Thing? What are you doing? Ah. Got him. Next partner. Who are these guys? What was that about? Moving out. Can I do something with the bodies? Wait, he can shoot me through that, but I can't shoot him through that? What sense does that make? Makes nonsense. Do it. Ah! Oh! Understood. Give it all you've got. 
shot, soldiers. Oh, he's on the other side of these poles. Eh. Damn it. Oh, come on. You know what? There's a chance to redeem yourselves. One shot to the head. Come on. There you go. I'm not done yet. Who are these guys? Should that be an instant win? My turn, okay? Because they have no soldiers left, so. That's the block out there. Yeah, see that? See the advantage whenever you get close. It's... Operation complete. We took their base. Okay. Ooh, that's awesome.
soon, bro. I mean it, man. Bruh, bro, man, boy, child, adult. Man, bear, pig. details on the current operation. Right, the Riverside team is basically already de determined for me. I guess I'll take Nancy. Spring Vice and Edie. Let's get some snippers up in there. Since they've already got me with a Lancer, so he can focus on the tank while everyone else takes out the uh, guys all around. And Shock Troopers bring grenades. So... Let's go with that for the time being. We'll try a full offensive approach and see how that works. If it goes south, we'll bring in engineers next time. To two teams, offensive and defensive. Squad seven, move out. He wears a map on his chest. All right, it's our first mission. I'll lead the Riverside team towards the enemy encampment. With Shock Trooper here. Leave the offense to me. Oh, hey, well, has he actually got a voice line? City team, your job is to guard the base. Be ready for anything, including tanks. How long you think I've been an anti-tank man? A couple of tanks ain't no sweat. That's a spirit, Largo. Now, let's move out! Listen closely. Is it... That's a lot. Oh, they got a couple of scouts. Well, let's do this thing. Don't let up on the offense. Why are you standing, sir? Someone could shoot you if you stand there like that. Target. Target. 
My turn, okay? Serpentine, serpentine. Hey, what the fuck's going on over here? Oh, there's someone hiding in the grass? Is that what's going on? Can't quite tell. We're gonna turn around nice and slow. And shoot this man in the face. So we got a scout over there, huh? Here we go. Oh, you're hunkering down, are you? There we go. Bada boom. Alright. Meanwhile. Man, it must suck to be a shock trooper. I'm not done yet. Understood. Yeah, center mass wouldn't work. Let's get a little closer. Nailed it. Sweet dreams. That's the power of snipers. That's why they're level three. Just um leave it to me. Can't crack behind boxes? How's it going up there, Rock? Requesting the Okay, if they're gonna be saying a tank, it's probably gonna be coming through the right side. Then wait here. Wait no, that's a building. That's a great idea! They just shoot into the corner of the wall. Fantastic! This is why the Empire is a force to be reckoned with. This <laughs> is run down the barrel of a tank! <laughs> Why the Empire is a force to be reckoned with. A truly fearsome foe. Uh, 
Ow. Oh, snipers can't counter? Okay. Raise one ally's evasion. Okay. Let's do this thing. Watch out for enemy counter offensive. Here we go. Oh, hi. Hmm. No, I'll let you fire first, because you're probably going to hit that tree. Oh, he spotted the tank. Ow, ow, ow. How about no? I don't think I can target anybody from this. Uh, <laughs> Oops. Uh, I have a plan, Vice. Leave it all to me. Run. You stay right there. If anyone comes in your line of sight, you fill them full of lead. So we got two tanks. I got it. Oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Please get back up to me. Keep an eye on your equipment. Nailed it. Going, big guy. Right up against the wall. Oh, you're going through the wall. God, damn tanks busted right through the sticking wall. Okay, they can One do that. Turn now. Stick this in your pipe and smoke it. Stay sharp. Watch 
Thanks for letting me know that tanks could just smash through walls. It's, that's a really good thing to know. Is this gonna turn on fire? Oh, you were in the grass. Ty the Immortal? Ooh, we got a tough guy. Yeah, felt that one, didn't you, asshole? Moving out. Now. What the fuck? What the fuck? So he can just drop down whenever? Fine, drop this, asshole. Here I come. Who are these guys? New target sighted. Been waiting here. One shot to kill? I don't think I'll get that lucky, but here we go. 500 damage. Losing your CP left and right there, buddy.
That's another CP gone. Yeehaw! Enemy unit neutralized. Can't really get any get you anywhere with safety there, buddy. So you're gonna stay right there. Now we're gonna have to get everyone else to move forward to back them up. You get one turn. You've been losing your CP left and right, buddy. You get one turn. Make it count. What the fuck are you doing? Fire. Look at all the CP I get, though. I got it. All right, Edie, move up. I have a plan for just such an occasion. <laughs> oh, looks like you don't got any cover, buddy. Fucking up! Come on! The hunt begins. Nothing personal. Who are these guys? Nothing Paisano, kid. Sneepers! I'm not done yet. Man down, everybody. Sneepers! The power of sneepers! Alright, Vice, go do Vice things to that man's face. Target silence. 
silence. That's a pretty PC way of saying brutally murdered. Alright, first Vice, you're gonna get a sh or not Vice, uh, Largo. You're gonna get a shot off on that guy's butt. And then the tank will go in and finish the job. Easy peasy. Oh, shit! Unless you kill it. Right in the ass! Rosie! Show them your rosy emotions about them trying to put up a fight against you! Hi! <laughs> that might have been a bit excessive. Uh. Oh, we got one move left. Vice! Set their flag on fire! That was a C rank. Oh, we seized a new weapon from the enemy. A new episode has been added. Oh, I know, I didn't hire Rosie. She was already on the thing. chance, are ya? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. Oopsie daisy What? Hey, you can't... Ah, nice to meet you, too. Now, it's good to know that this military isn't doing anything to stop the reporter from climbing so, up on the you're tank. The son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the hardest uh, experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest? I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story. A good story. And you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good. I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews. Thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. You've been assigned to Squad 7? Wait, are you part of the military or are you just here to piss us off? Ugh. Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please. He's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Ah, whatever, he'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. Oh, don't worry, I got plenty of that. I've been pumping it into my soldiers left and right. Chapter 4, Operation Cloudburst. Jesus.
Or not Rosie, Brigitte. These are all pages on the generic soldiers, I guess. Oh, they, they have different last names. Okay, anyway. Medic? Wait, what? I don't know who you are. Why do you get such a dynamic pose? Age 17. Oh, I know, these aren't actually important. These are just... Okay, so I can ignore these tabs then, okay. Because I don't even bother with tabs like those anyway. I'm not that invested in this world. It, it's anime World War II. I get it. First things first, R&D. Make our guns shoot faster. Make them gooder. Or don't. Whatever. Nope. 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 Really? Nothing? Oh, I can better upgrade the steel. That was expensive. 4,200. Additional armor is super important. That means I gotta save up for rolled steel on the on the body. I mean, they had two tanks. I never had to have my tank shoot at them. One Lancer took out both tanks. I mean, shit. <laughs> Welcome to your worst night. Train on. Defense boost. Q. You're Good work. Looks like that's New potential. Cool. That was Rosie. Oh, uh, Rosie must be her nickname, I guess? Whatever. Undercover fire. Oh, crouching attack power is boosted. That's awesome. Undercover fire, undercover fire, first aid boost. He can crit with the healing. Firing actually has improved when enemies nearby. <laughs> so she has the ability to just run. Uh, charging into the. <laughs> so she gets weaker 
but she gets more accurate as she approaches enemies. And you can crit with a heal, okay. Yeah, you can- you're a sniper that's up there with everyone else. You're a sniper that gets up on a tower and never does anything. Or never moves around anywhere. You just get up on a tower and you start dropping people one after another. Okay. Come back anytime you're ready to sw- Hey, Lieutenant! Off duty today? Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? Sure, I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy-sweet propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this. Out of sight from those government goons. You do realize I'm part of those government goons. I'm the freaking military! I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah, come by and have a read sometime. You're here. I want to put a book out someday, right? To put the truth in the hands of the people. But I'm just a radio news grunt, you know? I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket. So, I figured I'd ask you. Think you could find it in your wallet's heart to help a girl get started? I'd make it worth your while. You guys could feature in the book I write. I'm broke. I still haven't decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. See this fat stack of notes? Got a ton of material already. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. Please. I ain't got the money. I plan on putting out new editions periodically, so drop by to check it out often. Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. Is that a one-time hey. thing? Oh, and how about the new rising star? I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. Up. Come back and Okay, I have to go do a skirmish in order to get the money for you. The War of Samatara. Samaturi. Paying your respects. Oh god. Sorry. I suppose that was a foolish question. Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. Oh, then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. That, and seeing this much death, reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, sir. 
Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader. Mm. Very impressive for a young man. Well, I mean, the game named the protagonist. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. One wrong order from me, and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Now, let's see. I'll teach you healing request today. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied unit's wounds. Well, what is your decision? 6,500 experience? I ain't got the money! I see. I suppose it was too soon for you. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Alright, y'all, we gotta go out and kill some nazis. Out trial. You get one scout. Obviously, Alicia. Go through here. I've got a visual here commencing attack. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus! Shit, I can't just exit out of this either. I am not equipped for this shit! I'm going up against elites? My turn, okay? Fuck, bail!
Wait, there's someone down there? How could I have known? How could I have known? I didn't- There's someone down there? What the fuck? Wait, is that- From briefing? Does that mean I can- From the unit position phase. No, I'm stuck in this, because I haven't saved in a while. I thought- Oh, I think I saved recently. Yeah, skip, 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 skip. Skip, 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 skip. Run Shit! Out. Okay. Quick, run back because. I need to smell of fresh soil. Apparently, there's some dudes back here. Watch out for stray bullets. Scout Elite? I gotta get headshots. My turn, okay? Either you get headshots or we restart this, Alicia. Up to you. No. There you go. What the fuck? He vanished from sight. Hold position. The fuck are you guys doing? You couldn't be bothered to take a single shot the entire time he's walking around you like that? Shoot him!
Yeah, she has one heal, and it's for 100 HP. So since she, uh, characters naturally regen every turn, I'm using the turn count to get some regen in. I don't care if I get a low rank for taking too many turns, because I'm kind of out-geared in this. What are you guys doing? Okay, I got a little bit of health back. Out. All units, watch your surroundings. Try to keep that front line strong. Don't let up on the offense. Take a good look at your surround. My turn, okay? Ambush. Focus on making smart choices, soldiers. Even with headshots, it'd be 13 rounds. Those are body shots. Headshots going. No headshots. Oh shit! Ducking doesn't help. Ducking does not help. But now I can see your pretty little face. My turn, okay? Smile. Honest question, is this all just one guy running in circles? It seems like one guy running in circles. Fuck! What's Oswald the Oswald the Gold? An ace? I can't beat this guy with one scout the way I am right now. Enemy phase, what what is there left to do? She's dead. Do I have to watch this guy walk in circles until she finally bleeds out?
I can't do anything, game! Why are you letting this go on? I, I, seriously. Deployed one out of eight. Wait, one out of eight? Wait. Wait, what? I could have deployed people this entire time? Really though? I didn't- I genuinely did not know that was even an option. And there they all are. What am I supposed to do about her? How long does it take for a character to bleed out? I totally got it. Okay... I didn't even know I could bring more people into this! I thought that was just like a one-per-character challenge or some shit. Bring the ammo! I need bullets here! It's a miss. Fall back now. Oh, that's my whole turn. God, it's gonna take forever to get anyone up there. Jesus Christ, how long is it going to take to get a shock trooper up there? Is there any way I can do this over? Like... Fuck, no, there's not. I <sighs> I got I have to stomach through this through the whole rest of this, aren't I? Don't worry, I will. There's not really much of anything else I can do, unless I wait out the next 12... What? <sighs> Fucking whatever. Oh my god, that is frustrating as hell. I didn't even know I could bring in more people. I'm- let me guess, I'm assuming... I, I'm saying all this on the assumption that on the next battle in the story, I'm going to start with a few people, and it's going to tell me, by the way, you can bring in more guys from your base. Oh my god. That is so frustrating. I just pull out a bunch of scouts. No, problem, no not... Avoid hasty action at all cost. Shove it. Oh, I guess this is my life now. Hurry with that reload, they're getting away.
I'm gonna run up running up to I get one CP right now. Oh this asshole is just gonna run in circles for the rest of his entire eternity. If I can if I can just get my scout up there to kill him, then at least the enemy will just start skipping their turns, because Oswald won't do anything. Screw it. Let's just kill that one guy then. Yay! Happy grass. Maintain your lines. Do your nation proud, soldiers. Requesting response. Please right, Where the hell is he? Alright, over here. I thought he was. Or no, he just went back there, didn't he? Why does he bother running in circles like that? What? Hurry up. I totally got it. Okay. Shit. Enemy spotted? Fuck. God damn it. Stay calm and get it done. Get ready to it. You know I'm chasing after her? No, enemy sighted. He's just gonna start running in circles now. Shit. Oh, come on! You can genuinely just spend your million turns on just shooting her dead right there. I totally got it. Stop, 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 stop! I'm in aiming mode, you asshole! Pow, pow! Yippee! Is the mission over, or do I have to walk a fucking shock trooper over here? Go ahead, game. Tell me I have to walk a shock trooper over to this asshole. Uh... Alright. Very carefully. Kind of thing I'm trying to. I'm on. 
trying to recover from in my life is getting overly agitated about simple things. As the migraine sets in, I realize that I'm getting a little too blood boily about very simple things. So we are going to relax. He's genuinely just going to stand there this entire time. I'm on it. Ain't no stopping me. What? Fight's not over. I just um leave it to me. Um Miss Medic Just a little longer, almost there. Miss Medic, please hurry. Okay. Don't let a chance slip past you. Him? No, he's he's in a corner. He's legitimately by himself. I definitely will this time. I've learned a couple of things about this battle now.
Oh my god. Shit, she's a goner. Yeah, at least she's a goner. I fucked up. I didn't think there was another person back there. And if I don't run Alicia back, then that person runs to the flag and instantly takes the base. They shoot the wrong targets the entire time, I guess. Okay, unless they do that, I guess. Let's do this thing. Go down. Well, that happened. Okay. Moving out. Mission is not entirely foo bar. Thanks to early game AI making really stupid calls, I have a chance. never get enough of uh, enemy turns of them running in circles. Don't 
Don't overextend yourself. Do this thing. New target sighted. We're under fire here. Requesting backup. Ain't no stopping me. There's one guy in the corner, there's the elite, and there's a dude doing patrols. Why not shoot him in the head? Alright. And there's Largo, which gives me an extra command. And then... You don't tell me what to do. Shit, not stand up, not stand up. Please. 
Ah, terrain. Okay, meanwhile. Let's do this thing. Penetrating enemy lines. Oh shit, you turned around because of the noise. You can't let them provoke you. Fuck. Uh, okay. Superior terrain. Okay. Let's do this thing. Please work. Oh. Okay. Act quickly. Let's do this thing. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna get a feisty, are you? All right, let's get feisty. Hi. Oh no, don't hide. Person is back there. Don't let up on the offense. Moving out. Gallions at three o'clock. Distance six hundred meters. Enemy sighted. Uh huh. Stay sharp. Let's all get back home alive. Don't catch, asshole. Let's 
do this thing. That made it all worth it. Well. All right. Well, my whining aside, that went pretty well. Everything from R&D. Hey, I can afford your book now. Come back. And you there? You said something about a healing order. Hello again, son. I'll teach you healing request today. Use it to... Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. I wonder if we can get everyone to level 5. I don't want to burn all of my experience, just in case. So let's get everyone to five, and we'll call that good. You're better. Good work. Looks like that's. Looks like that's. Looks like that's. Okay, you. We'll call that good for now. Attacks have a set probability of being impossible to evade. Okay. Defenses are strengthened when in hiding. I thought that was a normal thing, but I guess not. Stealth, stealth. Evasion boost, stealth. But wait! <laughs> but wait! But she has a pollen allergy, though! If Aika goes around hiding in grass to increase her defenses from her stealth bonus, then her pollen allergy will start to kill her! Wait, though! some new recruits.
Salinas. Lancer Killer, Desert Allergy, and Fancy's Women. Oscar. Meadowbred, Night Vision, Impaler. Much higher power. Imperial weapons are terrible at aim and have terrible range, but they hit so much harder than our weapons. I feel like I'd much rather just keep upgrading our weapons. I mean, after all, I now have all this money. Regiment 3. My first impression, good. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Oh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her. Her hometown is Brule. Same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. We'll just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right. The tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Ah, huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now that's strange. She looks darksome to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that, could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troop somehow. Huh. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? <laughs> well then... <sighs> the truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not! <laughs> There's Sergeant Potter, and Corporal Stark with him. Hey! Guys! Mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What? Like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? 
Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living, plus I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? Th there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Largo, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others? <laughs> I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair is all. So... Okay, I don't understand what is... Is there something religion related about Darkson's? Traumatic past experience with a Darkson leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about him is all. You can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. Why? What is... <laughs> Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Sean Toos? They may be cranky, but... Are, is, hopefully the game's gonna explain why there's racism towards Darkson. What? Because they just... So far, they just wear... Like, scarves and they have black hair. Boo! Oh, hello, Miss Ellet. How are you? A little freaked out now. He didn't even bat an eye at that. We're staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? I'd like to fly. Well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? You don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Wux is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. But he is a very kind person, and loyal. Any time my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say... I respect him a great deal. Gotcha. Sounds like you lucked out in the sibling department, then. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. Why? Why not just ask right now? Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? Hello, Miss Ellett. Hard at work again, I see. Didn't you already interview him before? 
Oh, Alicia, I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. Uh, you've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. I see, I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? What? I, I, I've never really thought about it. I don't know. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy-looking bug. I got distracted. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. No kidding. Now, Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the First European War? Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. What are you fighting for? I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darksons. That's learned behavior. Uh -huh. Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Huh. He really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones, for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. Well, the scoop takes you to a live firing area, then, you know... Oh, well. Squad 7's suppression of the enemy camp on the West Bank gave us the foothold we needed. Now we'll join the Army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloudburst to take back the bridge. Militia forces will take the point, crossing the bridge, and attacking the Eastern Camp. Captain, crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the Army on this? The plan calls for the Army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridgehead. Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? I know how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier, too. But sometimes being a soldier means taking on tough missions, even dangerous ones. Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. Reaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... It's going to be tough. Captain Barat, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? I don't mind, but what are you... Welcome! Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the meeting. We're finished, it's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit? Yes, Captain. Welcome. I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's throats. What? Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. You want me to break it up? I, I don't know. I... Let them Oops. have it out. You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. 
butting heads over differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. Well, but... That may be, but I still... Look, you can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. Now get a move on, sir. Hey, I... Alicia? Sounds like he's got his hands full. It's all part of growing as a team. Lieutenant, it's either her or me, pal. Who let her in anyway? You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? I don't get it. She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her. Her type's got a bad reputation, and everybody knows it. No darksons allowed. You hear me? Oh yes, I've heard everything you have to say, but I'm still a human being, the same as you. Besides. No evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson Calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me? So what, you're calling me stupid Stop now? Stop it, that's enough! Okay, boss man. We won't fight alongside no Darkson. What about that, can't you understand? Another thing we ain't doing is taking orders from some hotshot Greenhorn. All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll have that bridge back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. Huh? Now if my plan fails, which I doubt, then I'll resign. And Squad 7 will be all yours, Largo. But if my plan works, you'll take my orders and like it. <laughs> Your funeral, boss man. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But, wait a sec, Welkin! Well, 48 hours. What's up? I'm sorry, Wilkes. I shouldn't have argued. This is all my fault. It's nobody's fault, Ease. It's a war. We're all on edge here. And this mission certainly isn't helping. It's little wonder the troops are upset. Yeah? That's why pulling this operation off is the perfect way to bring the squad together. That'd be great if it works. But how can you possibly hope to take back the bridge in just 48 hours? Well, that's the hard part. Aha! Huh? Aha what? I was hoping, but there they are. Isara, Alicia, think you can do me a favor? Sure, what is it? You follow me? Oh, it's gonna be a big twist. But that's... Is that even possible? It's gonna be the twistest of twists. Well, Ys, think you can make it by tomorrow? Yes, I'll get to work on it now. All right. I'll trust you on this. Thanks, Alicia. Well, let's get started. Let's hear this brilliant plan. And it's too late to back out, boss man. Got that? So let's hear it. We're going to strike the enemy encampment on the east bank. Whoa, hold 
hold it. You're asking us to die for you? One squad ain't breaching that bridgehead, buddy boy. That would be suicide. We're not taking on the bridgehead. We're taking on this, the river. We'll use the fog as cover as we cross the river, then launch a surprise attack. Oh, come on. Is this just some game to you, boyo? Yep, it's called Valkyria Chronicles. Swimming a couple of foot soldiers over there ain't gonna do much if we got no tanks. Don't worry, I've got that cover. Isara? I've fitted the Edelweiss with water-resistant measures to allow for submersion. It will only hold for a few minutes, but it should be enough to cross. Hold on just a sec. Ships come through here. It's gotta be too deep for a tank. We're covered. Look, see that over there? What's that? Grass? Missile reef. A tall aquatic plant found in the estuaries of some rivers. I noticed them when I came down to observe the river. This stretch runs shallow. Shallow enough for a tank to drive across. Trust me on this. First, the Edelweiss will cross over and clear out any Imperial patrols on the shore. Then Lieutenant Gunther will send up a flare, signaling the rest of us to follow by boat. Right. Now let's get started. I'll see you on the other side. Oh no, it's a Darkson! Run! Their smell will contaminate everything! Wait, you didn't think I had any patrols? The Edelweiss swims just fine! Fall in, Sevens! Would that be loading the enemy forces as well? Wait a minute, wait. I see some holes in this plan. I don't think this is a good idea. Let me brief you on Operation Cloudburst. How do they not know I'm there? I fired a flare. and do damage and get it over fast. Operation Cloudburst is set to begin. Take down the bridgehead as quickly as possible. Squad 7, move out! All right, that's everyone. Ready to move out, squad? You're crazy. You know that, right? Incoming message from Squad 1 leader Faldio Lanzet on the West Bank, sir. Enemy company in motion, presumed headed east across the bridge toward our position. A full company? That's bad news for us. We'll have to move fast. 
We're taking that camp before the cavalry rolls in. Listen closely. Okay. Vice. There's another one. Found a target. Perfect. Of a snipper. Oh, that's the power of a snipper. You can do this. Done. Come on. Been waiting here. That went well. Wow. 
some more firepower on the front line here. That's not a good place to stop. Oh, that's not good. Well, shit, I'm not gonna reach those sandbags. I probably could have if I cut across, but I forgot the borders of the map. Alright, this might go badly. That's a sniper. There's a dude over there as well. Well, fuck, I think I'm about to lose Freesha. Need to start. Oh, zero. All right, we have three three turns to get her out of there. Yeah, they got a sniper up there. Too far. I don't know if I can reach a sniper from here. It's too far out. All right, Vice. I'll take care of it. Do Vice things. Hi. line of sight. Here somewhere. Taking pot shots at my team. I don't appreciate that. Where are you? There's somewhere. Let's see. Be able to take a pot shot at Freezer from there, which means. Nope. I guess whatever the positioning is, I can't get a clear shot from here, so. Let's do the next best thing.
I can get a clear shot. I'm on it. Keep one position here. After me, kiddos. Is there anywhere you can? There you are. I ain't shooting you from this far out, though. Might as well take the shot. What, what could go wrong? Go down. You're gonna to have to be more specific when you say that character. Let's see. In the sniper's position. Yeah, there's no line of sight to that one. Okay. No treads, like you, you ain't going nowhere. You will, though. You won't. You will. I'll go get in closer. Lancers, keep an eye on your ammo. Make use of the rubble for Check it from blasts. for a gun. Can't climb because there's someone else already up there, of course. Well, I wasted this turn. All units, watch your surroundings. Uh, ah. I'll be able to do something with this turn. Wow, they really resist sniper fire. <laughs> yeah, they don't give a shit. Here we go. I don't know if that'll hit him. I mean, fuck it, there's no harm in trying. Jesus! Shot wide. Hit that camp hard! There you are. Smile. Why are you shitting me? Come on, Catherine. Sergeant. 
Bottles are stuck with no bullets. I'm not done yet. There we go. Everybody be careful. They no longer have sniper coverage. Oh god, dodge! <laughs> oh god. You're doing great! Keep it up, Marina! Oh, they really want your ass. Dodge, Marina! Oh. Seven out of eight. So I can send someone else out too. Okay. The hunt begins. Okay. I'm thinking I might keep her up there for a while because as long as she's dodging those rounds then it's sucking up all of their turns just to try to stop her. Now's your chance. But it feels dangerous, so... I'm gonna keep you up there for now. But only in... Only while we're able to start dropping these tanks. Oh, come on. But hey, we got cover now. I'm on. Let's see if we can do something about these lancers. There we go. All right. Man down. Everybody be careful. Okay. One down. Just Marco, I think you can take out the second one. I think you can do this. AP willing. Oh god, it hurts. Two tanks. All right. Enemy unit neutralized. All right. Hello. Fire! 
Are you serious? Really? Take a pot shot. Here I come. Are you serious? I like you, Jack. Come in, Alpha Camp. Alpha Camp, respond. We heard gunshots. Report your status. Welts, I've intercepted an enemy transmission. There's nobody left at their camp to respond. But we've cleared it out. Oh, this is bad. It's only a matter of time before they send in reinforcements now. This is Alpha Camp. A patrol unit had a misfire. Condition green. Relax. We're fine. Understood. Well, you guys keep the fires lit till it's time for our shift. Over and out. Oh, apologies for acting without permission, sir. That was amazing, East. Between the squad's fast action and that fast talking, we saved ourselves some heat. Wow, oh, cool. Oh, that tank's still running at full capacity. Oh, shit! Oh, they're pissed. Minimal. Uh. It's all good. Uh-oh, here comes the scouts. Rosie, light them up. <laughs> you did a great job, Rosie. I'm proud of you. Oh, there you go. That's a problem sorting itself out. Oh, God. Oh, wow, that was way off. Okay. Okay, since they aren't really bothered by snipers. Let's do what needs to be done. Entering combat. Excuse me. me. Don't know how to drive here. Oh, hi. Well, that worked out. However, our ass is showing, so let's go deal with that. It'll be easier to do now that there's not a tank right there. Hi, buddy. How's it going? How? Huh, this ain't even fair. All right, she gets a damage bonus for being crouched. Well, man down, everybody be careful. Okay. Make use of the rubble for cover as you proceed. Please try to hurry. Our time is. Hey, look, we're going as fast as we can, all right? Just 
gotta be something you can do. I guess aside from taking a pot shot at this guy and keep distracting the tanks. Unless you miss. Unless you miss. Okay. Entering combat. I feel like I was gonna jump in that tank, so. Your actions for you. No tanks for you. Sir, Gullion commandos have occupied Alpha Camp, sir. What? Alpha Camp reported their status green not minutes ago. Yes, but thinking back on it, I didn't recognize the voice on the line. Damn it. Feed me misinformation, huh? I want every last man we have out there. Bring me those Gullion heads. Now right, here they come. Alright, Vice, I need you to get in there and do Vice things. Too far out to really do anything from here. As I was saying, Vice, go in there and do Vice things. Violently. I'm too far out. Nina, I haven't done anything with you. I just realized you're still here. My turn, okay? I've been using, uh, you've been dipping in and out. I've been using the power of, of big brain strats to, uh, run my tank in and just run over their stuff. Run over all of their stuff. Wait, with our cover gone. 
Reyna, you should be able to take a shot. No, oh, he still has cover. That guy's on the other side of a tank. Do some damage. Take that, take that flag. Take it. Aha! Nice work. We've occupied the enemy encampment at the bridge's end. Drawbridge control room secured, Welks. Excellent. Open it up, East. Let's see how their tanks like the river. Yes, sir. Ragnite turbines on. Stand by to raise drawbridge. Oh, I see what he's doing. That's messed up. He just dumped their entire company right into the freaking river. <laughs> It appears that Lieutenant Gunther's plan worked. An impressive start, soldier. Thank you, Captain. The kid's crazy. Drove a damn tank right into the stinking river. Yeah, and I can't believe it worked. I'm still in shock. All right, you two. Now hold up your side of the bargain and you listen to Welkin. <laughs> yeah. The kid might got the chops to command. But that don't mean I gotta like any dark hairs. Hey, come on! It's okay, Alicia. I'm used to it by now. But I hope... I know the day will come when Darksons can join society as equals. Hey! Hope I'm not interrupting anything. It's me again, reporting for GBS. Lieutenant Gunther, that was quite an impressive result on your first mission. Yes, thanks to the squad's hard work, we managed to take back the Great Vassal Bridge. Any impressions on things to come now that you've gotten your first taste of victory? Impressions? Well, let's see. Bridges are important. They link the roads that bring people what they need. I'd like to become a sort of bridge, linking my crew together. I think that's my new goal. He's a humble man with humble desires. Sorry, this is about all I can do. She's the real villain in all this. It's our plan to fill the world with weeds. Once everybody returns, they'll see a couple of lion's paws blooming, and it'll start to feel like home again. Hey, Alicia, we're heading out soon. Okay, I'll be right there. Wildflowers, do your stuff. Chapter 5 the Cloden Wildwood. 
A new squamish. More damage. Here you go. Do they all have anti blast? The gun's beefier now. It looked bigger. good for the moment. Come back it. Cuz there might be some new orders here. Hmm? Hello again, son. I'm sorry. Oh. I hope we'll Turn to book mode. Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. That pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. The Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer taking soil samples. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of Central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. 
This'll be our toughest operation yet. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the Moondew that can suck a... All right, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind, you know that? I'm saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. All right, I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. Are you kidding? That's the one thing plants do. Eat keys! Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. The issue here is Gallia's resistance. Hey, I know you. So uh, they had you uh, guest star in this after your starring role in Project Cross Zone. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? We will extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. We will require reinforcements. They will be sent to Central Gallia. Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius, Selvaria. Be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden base and supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Gallia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. <laughs> Are we doing remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway enough with the trees already you could say that again woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees here we go hey great what did he find a map in the dirt Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Welkin. What are these, some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! You made me hold poo? Are you crazy? Ugh. Hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? Come here. Take a look at this. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. 
animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. There's a follow-up question I have to all this. What was the necessity in making her hold goat shit? What would you have done with it had she held on to it, Welkin? That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Hmm? Oh, just a song I sang back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Ha! Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. We're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air! Mike? It's... a pig? Pigs are flying! It looks like a Porcavian piglet. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? Oh. I'll take a look further in. <sighs> well, what did you find? There must have been a skirmish here. Looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Even all the way out here, the war's still claiming lives. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. With your strangely human eyes. Well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? Can we? Yeah, I mean, think about it. So far, our operations have basically been perceived as impossible. I mean, we drove a tank through a river, and then we took out an entire uh, siege machine by ourselves with like eight people. I'm pretty sure anyone who looks at the operations run by this jackass is probably going to say, yeah, that'll work when pigs fly. It's only appropriate that our team mascot is a flying pig. We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. Mike? Mike! Okay. Here is a brief on the task at hand.
Tell them not using Nika. Vice. Get in here and do vice things. Definitely not using Marina. Not like forests. Alright. I guess we're gonna have Herbert up here. And Ramsey down here. Wait, no, City Bread. Wait, this is a. No, oh, that's a dirt path. Let's. The enemy's supply base is through these woods. Squad 7, move out! The tank will follow the road to the south. Team 2, take the trail to the base. All right, listen up and I'll explain. <laughs> Let's get that north base out of there right now. Moving out. Jesus! <laughs> he was told about the mines, and I didn't even, I didn't even try. Uh, Anti-tank gunnery reported on the north bank. We're in danger while it remains, Welks. We'll have to hope Team 2 can take it out from behind. Do you have visibility there? Enemy unit spotted! Make sure you stay calm. Enemy unit spotted! Medic! Medic! That's a good thing me stepping on that, uh, that mine didn't tip them off to my presence. Alright, Vice, do Vice things without stepping on any landmines. I don't like their attitude. Really? Vice, come on. Over. There we go. Found a target. How many are there now?
side. Good work. There we go. It's all coming up roses. I'm sure if I can shoot anyone through the fence. But if that's the case, what was the, why would I even put a sniper over here then? Let's take a shot. Let's try it out. Goodbye. Yep. Please don't put yourself at risk. Help that one. I got it. Get ready. Or a medium tank. Looks like a champ.
Can you get over? Oh. Watch out for gunfire from long range. Damn it. Oh, that was a waste of turn. Come on, I see a mine right there. Can I not do anything about it? Okay, that's two turns I've wasted. Come on! And I can't just drive over it with the tank because then I'll hit the mine. Entering combat. If I don't just run over my own dudes. Oh, for, come on! It was a clear shot! It was a clear shot! And you fucked it up. Watch this. I used up all my turns basically just dealing with that stupid log. Well, do you have a visual on that base yet? Fuck no, I don't. I spent fucking three, four CP just getting past the logs. Of course I'm not out of the base. Hit something, Largo. I'll take it. I will take it. Just watch this. You're done. Oh, shit. Target silenced. Head for the next one. Again, I'll take it. Not well thought out. Come on, do, do your thing. the tank. Time for a dirt nap, Morris Picnicker. She's gonna fucking die. Shit. I wanted to do a repair, but that's not happening. Yep, they're dead. Rest in pepperonis. I'm not gonna lie, I would love nothing more than to repair the damage you have taken, Mr. Tank. But I can't because I don't know how to use the engineer's tool.
Entering combat. Well, do you have a visual on that base yet? I don't want any wasted lives out there. They use it like a gun. I get it. It's weird, but I get it. Enemy sighted. Yeah, just, yeah, I'm just now reading what you're putting there, Aaron. I'm slow. It's worth the ammo. You're done. All right, medium tank, All no right. more. Man down, everybody, be careful. I'm on. Oh, really? I got it. Just leave it all to me, folks. Yeah! Target sucked. Go. Engineers could not give less of a fuck if they tried. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Enemy over there. Have you secured a view of the field there? Enemy over there. You know what, Herbert? You're a fucking treasure.
Shoot, 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 shoot. That's Lieutenant Nonikoff. <laughs> Lieutenant Nonikoff is not going to take any of your non 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 nonsense. Entering combat. I'll cover you! Just turns the cannon and the thing around. Enemy just smacks us over the back of the head with a cannon. Let's get everyone caught up. Taking the stage. Sniper, bitch. I'm not done yet. Man down. Everybody be careful. My turn, okay? Enemy unit spotted. All units, check your current position. Hostile sighted, currently in pursuit. We're under fire here, requesting backup. Who sees me? Oh, they got an anti tank cannon. Watch out for gunfire from long range. That's not good. I thought I had one more turn. I think I'll just send someone around back in order to take that thing out. Vice old buddy, I'm leaving it to you.
I know, Vice, you're up here north. All right. Go that way because it's blocked. Try to keep that. Okay. Well, I might be able to grenade it. I'm on. Here I come. There we go. Please neutralize the enemy supply base. She's running out of steam, so. I'll take care of it. Time for a dirt nap, Morris Picnickers. Alright, Vice. You keep doing Vice things. It's super effective. Yeah, got it. Herbert, you keep being the treasure you are. Don't fight off more than you can chew. Well, do you have a visual on that base yet? Y'all impatient. My turn, okay? The front lines made enemy contact. Support them. Please neutralize the enemy. Make sure no one's leaving that base. All 19 rounds are going to have to land. Where are you going? like being ignored. I'm on. Okay, she's almost there. 
Let's do this. See if we can get a little closer. Enthusiastic engineers need to calm down. Watch out for gunfire from long range. Hostile sighted at two o'clock. What's this in a barrel here? It's like, it's like booting carefully. shish in a Cheryl. I got it! I got here as soon as I could, but apparently not soon enough. General Jaeger, you brought reinforcements? A few, but this place is almost surrounded. We'll lose both the base and supplies if we hold here. Listen, I want you all to pack up what you can and get ready to evacuate. What will you do, General? Buy you boys some time. Just leave the enemy to me. Pardon? Par what the fuck is that? Ooh. What am I looking at? Go get your ass up here. We're probably going to need your fucking rocket. Watch out for long distance gunfire. those treads yeah! or completely whip Largo that's also an option Largo, I don't want. I do not like your chances out here. Look at that thing! Oh God, here it comes! Oh! 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 Jesus! Where's he going? Hey! Uh, does he get a third turn or am I? 
Am I fucked? I feel like I'm fucked. If he gets a third shot, the tank's done. Okay, he does not get a third turn. That's a big tank. That's a big, beefy boy. Look at that boy. He's such a big boy, he gets a big B on his big icon. Roger, Roger. Get out of there. I managed to get Largo back up and running. Here we go. Now. Who are these guys? I got some fucking attention. Second verse, same as the first. Now. Man down, everybody be Just watch this. Can I get behind? Can't off more than you can chew. It's too far around. And I'm gonna sleep for a week when this is over. You're done! Alright, you ain't going nowhere. Spotted an enemy! Push forward! Should be able to get behind there, but I don't know if he can. Here we go. There we go. All units, check your current position. Looks like Golly has got some competent tank men. General Yeager, the base patrol has finished evacuating along with the supplies. All right. That means this base is just another patch of woods now. We'll thank the Gollians for this another day. Get the last of your men out. Welts, the enemy is abandoning the base. One step ahead. We timed that perfectly. I'm just glad that backup unit arrived late. So what, they're gone? Huh. That was a big beefy tank. Operation complete. We took their base.
Well done, soldiers. The operation was a success. Another victory for Welkin Gunther! Nope, not this time. All the glory goes to this little guy. Mike? Way to go, Hans. First day on the job and you're already... Our Oops. success today was thanks to the animals living in these woods. Mike, Mike. So, uh, who named the bacon Hans? Captain Verat, I'd like to introduce Squad 7's newest addition, Hans. Hans, I hear you performed admirably today. I expect great things from you. Dismissed. No luck! Chapter 6, A Desert Encounter. Captain, why are you having a conversation with a pig? Because the guy who was able to take out the entire siege in 48 hours said so. Alright, I'm gonna turn in some stuff at headquarters and then close it out so I can go and get something to eat or make some food. Well, Let's see what we got here. Nothing. More firepower! Still the same range. The new rising star of I couldn't help but snipe him with a
Come back! Hello again, son. I'm s I hope You're birthless. Report. A taste of home. Alright, I'll call it there.